Hey everyone, Bernard here and I hope you're all staying safe and well welcome to my latest Citizen Channel feature. Uh, please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button and push the bell notifications as well so you know when these vlogs are coming out and uh, of course do lots of stuff, city past and city present, so uh, please push that uh, notification button. Make sure your notification set to public as well, don't forget, otherwise you won't get to know, but uh, press that subscribe Please check out my links on screen as well for uh, Facebook and Twitter. And also, don't forget, I've got a little film and TV channel on YouTube as well. So if you want to have a little break from football, check that out. And of course, uh, on Facebook and Twitter, I will check every few days and follow and friend everyone back on there. And also, don't forget, I have a, I have a sort of links with Losing Business on Twitter. They promote uh, city fan related small businesses, local businesses which need our help, perhaps more than ever these days, don't they? So please don't hesitate to get in touch with me if I can promote or put some stuff out for you in, in one of my uh, magazine vlogs, my city magazine vlogs. And don't forget, I'll always give a shout out to local local projects or charities etc etc just get in touch anyway please enjoy today's today's citizen channel feature thank you right the one city show episode 16 yes 16 hey, it's getting on a bit now isn't it yeah we're going to check out all things media related uh, mainly for the fans the odd city thing uh, we don't do transfer rubbish on here because uh, let's face it as i'm recording this there's not a lot happening on the chat certainly not the outs anyway i've got i've got a sorry the ins or i've got an out to mention but uh, certainly not uh, anything to do with the uh, you know I've, uh, i just laughed this morning when someone said um Obviously, the, the lad from Villa's rethinking, rethinking joining City. <laughs> Absolute garbage out there, honestly. Anyway, let's get on with this uh, one, sh one City Show episode 16. Right, a couple of plugs, two or three plugs here for uh, things. Yeah, you may have seen it yourself, but uh, uh, a YouTube uh, channel at the eight and at underscore the 1894 they've got a youtube channel yeah, give that a follow i did promise i'd give a shout out for it so uh, you may have seen it knocking about but if you don't have a have a look for it the 1894 i'm sure there's some great stuff on there give them a Good, uh, follow the links and go on their Twitter and then obviously follow the links to the YouTube channel that's at underscore the 1894 also yeah interestingly enough I've, uh, I've not tuned into Man City Fan TV recently but uh, Martin who was on there I know he sort of took a step back at a while back but uh, uh, he's got a new channel starting called the Mancunian Way as, as I recorded this when I had a look last night there's nothing recorded no videos up there yet but uh, he's doing a bit of uh, pre-publicity for it so uh, yeah if you follow him on twitter at horsey city uh, and there are links uh, to his channel so uh, give him a follow and hopefully you'll find his feet and he's a good lad martin give give him your support i'm sure i'm sure you will that's that's the the mancunian way again you might have seen uh, you might have seen that advertised as well over twitter etc and nick white uh, the last little plug nick white at nick zero five one two eight one nine zero co-host of the podcast man why city so there you go give him a give him a follow on twitter at that at nick oh five one two eight one nine oh and the pods are just going to start up for the new season now there's a couple of june pods on there but uh, yeah so give him if you like your podcast rather than perhaps your youtube channels etc more, more a listener rather than a looker uh, give him, give Nick White a follow at that at that address on Twitter and uh, get over to his site as well. Right, yeah, images. Let's have a look at some of the images. Well, obviously we've got the new home shirt now, haven't we? It's very, very kind, uh, very nice uh, for public consumption. There, Rachel Doyle put her little image of her with the new top on. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's gonna take some. I've seen a few players ones, but it's gonna take someone so, uh, a pretty good one to beat that one actually. But I do have one up my sleeve in a moment, but. Uh, as far as Rachel Doyle's uh, concerned, a fantastic image that. I only hope I'll, uh, I'll look as good in mine. It's, it's supposed to be on its way, but um, we'll see, won't we? I don't, I don't think I don't think I will look as good. Obviously, not not a cat in hell's chance, but uh, the lovely Rachel there. So I hope you like that. Yeah, I do like the keeper's top. I did mention I actually played in a charity match many many moons ago at Main Road. Shows how long ago it was, and that's the only keeper top I have that obviously I played in at that match. And obviously I get there, I got to keep the keep the uh, city goalkeeper's top. But uh, yeah, that one there, I, I've seen Edison in it. He looks pretty good, and uh, Mr. Stefan looks pretty smart in it as well. So if I ever did buy another keepers, I'm well tempted with that one. I don't know if it's the same price as the others. I'm not too sure, but uh, especially the short sleeve versions. I never like the long sleeve ones, but. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm sorely tempted by that one. I think a lot of people are actually by that. A lot of people said it should have been the third kit actually rather than a goalkeeper's kit. Uh, yeah, and this has to be. Oh, this. Well, there we go. I did say. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a couple actually. This is this is the first one. This is a nice image uh, going round. Uh, nice to be home from DB there. Obviously, with the Etihad in the background. I mean, hopefully we'll all soon be going up that little road, won't we? I mean, it's not that long ago, was it? I was up there when we played Tottenham. I was, I was around there when we played Tottenham in the um, Carabao Cup to get the coach and stuff. So it's not that long for me, but I'm sure some of you haven't seen it for a while. So there you go. That's a lovely image. Nice to be home. It certainly is. And with, with the little lad there, fantastic. Uh, for Ball retro plus yeah great image i think you've probably seen this but what what i like about it is it captures the passion doesn't it, it captures both the passion of the players and the, the fans on the kip outs with the arms raised i love them images and photographs obviously dennis law and rodney marsh there but uh, uh, i can't think which game that is it might uh, i don't I, I have a feeling birmingham at home i don't know why i just 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 re remember you know sort of think of images from that game i think we won it three nil so i might like, totally wrong you know me i'm useless at dates and stuff uh, unless i'm researching them beforehand but uh, that's a great image there. Uh, yeah, and Anne posted a great picture outside Main Road. It's nice. I think she's done this one before, but obviously it's always you can't. Oh, you can never have enough of uh, Colin the King, can you? Colin, with she was with the King there. Fantastic picture. And that was the last day at Main Road, apparently. She says on on that one. So it's always always nice. I've got a, I've got a feature Colin Balance. I mean, it's 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 the rules. It, it's it's the law. Yeah, and I said the uh, the little picture I've got. There we go. Look at that. He's fantastic. He's obviously we've had Rachel, haven't we? Which is super. Super, but uh, I think even Rachel will sort of sort of uh, give give bow down to this one. Uh, Connor Denning picture of his lad uh, rocking the whole kit. Yeah, the blue. Anyone you like the blue shorts? I don't know. I'm not over. I'm not. I don't know. It's just one of those things, is it? I prefer white, but I prefer maroon and white stripes at the top of a sky blue sock. But I mean, we're not, not going to get that. Are we? Uh, you know, we've had that once, but a long a, a while ago. But. Uh, yeah, that's a great image there of the, of the lad. Then that's fantastic. Full kit, full kit. He's certainly not a full kit. What people say, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. So I thought, as I say, that's that's the best one I've seen uh, apart from obviously the ladies and, and Rachel, of course. It's at Sterling nineteen seventy eight. Had a great image of Main Road. Now I've not often seen that angle. I'm not not. I don't often see images from the Platte Lane end, which is. Uh, as you say that's don't forget that's a sort of the stand I used to go with my dad when I first started going. So you don't get to see often uh, that uh, angle of the pitch. So that's why I've shown it. Obviously we've all seen aerial photographs of Main Road, of course we have. But uh, yeah, I just like that angle. I thought it was excellent. I I'd imagine that was late eighties. Um, Obviously, before the plat lane was was redone, etc. But uh, yeah, I wasn't hundred percent sure of the date, but I, th I think it was mid to late eighties or something like. I'd assume just before it got knocked down, something like that. Uh, yeah, so that was a great. I thought I'd share that. Someone posted this beauty of a shirt. I mean, obviously. Uh, I've never, I never owned this one. I don't like it. Was it? I don't. I go through phases where I just don't buy replica shirts. I might not have enough money. I'm, you know, over life. You don't always have the cash, do you? You can't always splash the cash. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is obviously posted. I just put out on Twitter. I got quite a few likes for it. Obviously, that uh, this is perhaps a shirt of all the ones I never, all the ones that came out, and all the ones I've never owned. This is probably the one I, I probably would have most liked to own. That fantastic shirt, absolutely brilliant. And just to finish off with these little image, this first image section, of course, a picture of Helen there. Yeah, I've not, I've not seen a picture of Helen for a long, long time. Stood in front of the, the North Stand there, but uh, a great one, of course. Uh, and a great picture of a bell, of course. But, uh, yeah, I mean, all, we all remember Helen. It used to scare me to death, to be honest with you, when I used to get on the coach with Helen. I, just, I, did, I did behave, certainly while I was in earshot of Helen anyway, that's for, that's for sure. But uh, that was a great little image. Yeah, I did say transfer stuff, didn't it? It's just been confirmed, I think, uh, yesterday evening or a few hours before I'm recording this, uh, that uh, Lucas Nemetra, of course, has gone to Wolfsburg uh, for £11 million, I believe, uh, with a 15% uh, sort of sell-on. So, obviously, similar to what we got for the other guy who went back to Old Trafford, isn't it? And uh, with a buyback option as well, if things go really well. So, I think I'm sure we all wish him very well. I mean, he's he's the main guy. There's been some other movements, but with that being quite recent, I thought I'd give that a mention. 
And due back, yeah, this is this is a bit worrying for me. Uh, it's been published the dates that the players are due back after the Euros, and I'm panicking already by the start of the season. I mean, you've got Aki Diaz and Bernardo due back on the 23rd of July. You've got KDB due back on the 28th. You've got Zinchenko back on the 29th. You've got Torres, Rodri, and Laporte not back till the 4th of August. Edison and Jesus, 6th of August. And Sterling, Walker, Stones, and Foden. I mean, I don't know how injured Foden is, I've not heard. Uh, 8th of August. I mean, if you think about, we've got we've got friendlies, haven't we? Uh, we'll talk about them in a minute. But the friendlies start on the twenty seventh of July. We've got the Community Shield on the seventh of August. I mean, literally, even KDB could be he's going to be doubtful for that. And obviously, uh, Spurs is obviously the fifteenth of August, isn't it? So I do worry about Torres, Rodri, and Laporte, Edison, Jesus, Sterling, Walker, Stones, and Foden. What sort of team we're going to put out against Spurs unless these lads are coming back? Uh, fit and firing is a bit of a disaster I'm sure other teams have got the problems as well but I mean I'm only looking as far as City concerned but uh, it does it is a little bit worrying yeah, on the City site themselves yeah obviously as I said we mentioned all those friendly games we got on the 27th of July at the Academy Stadium we saw I saw some horrible you know stupid comments to this about small club etc etc and you know it was in response to the obviously City tweet obviously it's a 7pm kickoff against Preston North End I mean some of the opposing fans coming up with garbage it's, it's, it's just annoying I mean I just I have to sort of stop myself answering you know because I just wouldn't answer in a nice way but uh, yeah there you go so I have no idea. It's may mainly be a young team that wants it Tuesday, twenty seventh of July. But uh, obviously, a lot for for tickets for that. All these uh, these games I'm going to mention now should be on City Plus actually. So I'll have to join it again. I mean, I keep paying it, and then they just stop taking the money, and I lose it. I don't. I have no idea what the problem is, but uh, I probably have to. If I don't get to that one, I'm hoping to get to that Academy Stadium one actually. Uh, if I can't get to that, um, obviously it is on City Plus. And the same with the CFG fellow CFG club ES Troy's AC S Stack is it? Is it called as part of this summer's pre-season schedule we play them on saturday the 31st of july so i certainly won't be going to that one so obviously i'll have to get my city plus if i want to watch that if i want to have a view of that one at the stad de lobe stad de lobe i think it is i thought you said lube for a minute but it's law but stad de lobe uh as they prepare yeah for the while well, the french team will face paris saint germain on the opening day yeah that's a big challenge from isn't it by uh obviously we we face leicester of course the following uh after that the following week and uh troy's of course became the 10th cfg club uh went on to lift the league of two title last year so uh Promotion to the top tier of French football. So yeah, they've actually won the UEFA Intertoto Cup, Intertoto Cup back in two thousand and one. So that's not too bad. I said so. All those games should be available on uh, City Plus. Uh, City in the community's latest auction. Get involved in this. It's offering you a chance to get your hands on signed and framed photos of City players and staff, including you probably your last chance to get stuff for uh, Sergio Aguero. Of course, uh, every penny raised supports City Thrive, which is a mental health program for young people in Manchester, uh, and it's live now on Charity Stars and will close on Tuesday the third of August at five pm. So check that out on the site. Uh, some of the things on offer you've got uh, Bernardo uh, photograph signed and all these are signed and framed John Stones Kevin De Bruyne with his kit launch Kevin De Bruyne with his kit shoot Kevin De Bruyne with his warm down there you go well every, everything Kevin De Bruyne with his injury no 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 we didn't, we didn't have that I'm just I'm just kidding uh, Edison Edison Ruben Diaz uh, the Derby semi-final photograph for that one uh, Pep Guardiola Foden and Bernardo Silver combined photo uh, Pep and Sergio folds all together so I mean there's lots of stuff plus Sergio Aguero folds all as well so have a look at that a training photo of Sergio as well cool there you go and lots of stuff obviously as the season sort of begins to sort of ramp up now but they're still showing lots of old stuff they're showing classic highlights at the moment they've got Spurs 1 City 5 from 2014 uh, they've got a gallery a players gallery of the home kit photo shoot says on there these are on the City website just just go on and check uh, these are all fairly recent so you probably have to look up to about page 4 or 5 or something like that classic highlights City 3 Newcastle 3 1996 Six. City DNA, yeah, piece on Joel Mercer, City's main man. Classic highlights, Newcastle Mill City 2, 2012. Classic highlights, hat-trick for Sterling. The City bag 5 at Brighton on the 11th of July, 2020. Well, that's not very long ago, is it? But there you go. And, of course, uh, a little special on City Gen, the Alex Williams story. So that's fantastic. I've had a look at that myself. Right, Blues in Business, you know, we su I support those guys at Blues underscore Business who obviously support local business in these times with a pretty desperate for 
pretty desperate. But uh, the the uh, proviso is, or mainly, I mean, they, they do support other other businesses, but it's mainly with a, uh, a connection to city fans, a city fan run, or a family of city fans are involved, or whatever it is. So give that site a follow, and they regularly put these things out, and I try and retweet, and various people try and retweet the stuff, and it's services as well, and what people are doing. So have a look at that. It is a growing list. I'll add, I'll quickly add the new ones this week. We've got Eleven June based Watkins signs. Uh, they print and supply banners, posters, a boards, window graphics, and promotional stuff like mugs and mouse mats, etc., etc. Uh, Watkins dash signs dot co dot uk here for more info on there. Any of these things, if you have, have any problem getting in touch, give us a shout, and I can send you further details. So that's uh, Eleven June based Watkins. So they've been added to the list. If you need a cobbler, you need a cobbler. We all need cobblers, don't we? Key cutting got at Walker Cobbler. A story with is your town centre. So if you're around there, you probably know him anyway. But uh, if you don't, you know, and you live near enough, uh, get over there and give him your support by getting your keys cut there. Uh, Walker's complete with a... He's got a city room. I'd love to know what the city room is. Complete with a city room is shop. I, I assume that's a, a room with city stuff in it. I don't know. Uh, let me know. Uh, sounds intriguing anyway with a city room. So that's at Walker Cobbler uh, with Insure Town Centre. Give him your support. And if you need a new kitchen or bathroom, yeah, it's, uh, you know, we're all back out there now, aren't we, after COVID? But uh, at V Manchester, V-I-E Manchester, yeah, specialising bespoke ones. Yeah, kitchen, bathrooms, furniture competitive prices you can even download a brochure from their website so give them a look at their at v manchester and get the details so you can have a look at that if you fancy fancy splashing out for a kitchen or bathroom We've had a few bakers, haven't we? We've had a few bakers over the over the last few weeks. Uh, this one is established in 1864, so I don't think there's many that old. But uh, Robinson's Bakery, yeah, family run, uh, blues in business, fresh baked and cakes. Uh, you can direct message at b i n s y two all capitals b i n binzy binzy two or check out their Instagram as well. That's Robinson Baker. I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure where they're based, but uh, give give that a look as well. Natalie, yeah, then they're not these aren't based in Manchester, but they I think they're in Yorkshire, so they can get the stuff. Natalie at Stringy Nats, uh, Clifton Trade Bathrooms, yeah, ctb.co.uk. Uh, lots of stock. If, you, if you're struggling as plumbers or fitters, etc., and you're having trouble getting stock, I know the set, I know myself in my little business, I had a lot of, well, I've sort of almost give up now trying to get stock because it's nigh impossible at the moment. So they've got loads of stock at reasonable price as well, and not just hike the prices because of the situation, which is fair enough. So, uh, yeah, Natalie at Stringy Nats. I'll give her a follow on get the details of Clifton Trade Bathroom, ctb.co.uk. So that's really for your wholesalers, really for your plumbers or bathroom fitters, etc, etc. Or if you need a plumber or have heating problems, of course, we have Main Plump and Heating. Main as in M-A-I-N-E. I'm sure that's a homage to Main Road. Main Plumbing and Heating, uh, plumbing service plus ventilating, air conditioning. Uh, they're on Facebook or you can email them at mainplumbing at live.co.uk. So we uh, if you do need a plumber, perhaps they want they want some bits from uh, the other person as well. That, who knows? So uh, get the, give them a follow for m further information. And just before we go, stuff we've, we've mentioned before at Marky Mullen Forty Two Painter and Decorator. Uh, say all these. Get in touch if you don't know any details. We burn free suppliers of beautiful hand hand poured. 100% soy candles, yeah, cakes and brownies by Fern in Openshaw, the hidden kitchen, 365 clean, cleaning business specialising in pubs, restaurants, etc. At Prestige, car underscore rep, of course, Paul and his garage, fantastic, lots of testimonials on there for servicing and repairs. Nice buns, wholesale craft bakery, yeah, based in Cheadle, uh, at Lillipod1803, she owns Amazing Scents, yeah, offering fragrances to help create the perfect aroma for you. There you go. At Neil Desperandum, there you go, do you like that? Neil Desperandum runs right at home, provides care at home or 24-hour care for as long as you want on there, so you can get in touch with him. Miss Helen Yes, gifts, there you go, that's another one, so you have to say, get in touch if you need the information on these. Gifts for home and hounds, so anything for your little doggies, uh, some great doggy bandanas, etc, etc. Handmade cards from pickled at Pickle Ginger 2, at Bluefellas247, they've got a little shop on eBay, handmade baby gifts and clothing, kindcraftshop.etsy.com or direct message at Chanel underscore Missy. 
uh, mosaics from at Sky Blue Bint and a carpets from at the Carpet Man M22. And of course, of course, the ginger wig. We can't ever forget at the ginger wig, can we, for everything city? So if I forgot you, give us a shout. But uh, that's everyone we've sort of featured over the last uh, few weeks. And other, other little stuff before we finish. Ian Cheeseman, yeah, he's going to be commenting for Bolton Wanderers next season uh, through BWFC iPlayer and at Bolton FM Sport for the season. So uh, obviously he's going to try and get to as many City games as he can, but he's going to miss some, isn't he? I mean, surely there's going to be clashes where he, he can't get to the City game. He'll have to be doing his commentating duties. So, yeah, well, you know, it's a shame that City couldn't do something in it for Ian. It's absolutely uh, shocking, but uh, all well done, all good luck in that, Ian. Anyway, all the best to you, mate. Have a enjoy and try and get to as many City games as you can. Uh, Shikar, yeah, Shikar at SG underscore designs. Very talented, very talented. He's a bit in City like the most of us are, but what a great image of Pep overlooking the boys there on that image. That's uh, Shika at S capital S G underscore capital D E S I G N S at S G underscore designs. Yes, fantastic image. You can use them as wallpaper, but obviously you give them a follow. I don't know if you're selling these things as well. I'm probably probably will. Uh, and I did I say I give a shout out to Free Ado Design F R I A I. D O design at F R I F R I A I D O. So at Friedo, it should be on screen anyway. Some fantastic images during the Euros of uh, of uh, both some on the screen now as you're watching this of uh, City players, but and obviously Laporte is up there, but obviously the England side, but some great, and obviously they, they get put into sh and you can make t-shirts from them and buy t-shirts on uh, through redrubble.com redbubble.com, sorry not redrubble I'm thinking of builders, redbubble.com so links through there to actually buy that, I think you can buy that stuff from uh, Friedo design, fantastic stuff. I mean, I think you're very impressed with all those images. I did say I'd give you a mention because I was I was taken aback how good they were. To be honest with you, uh, yeah, James Gilbert added to his city collection with a replica of the City Seven Eight Seven plane. They are bought from a model shop near Heathrow. Absolutely brilliant. I've never seen that in any. I mean, I do look in model shops occasionally, have a scout around, but I've not seen uh, that out for sale. I'm assuming did he have to buy it himself? Or did he have to put it to have to stick it all together like Airfix? I doubt it. I think he probably probably bought it as it is but uh, yeah James Gilbert thanks for sharing that image of the 787 in your, city, your sort of city office there your city man cave and Neil Ned Kelly <laughs> Neil Ned Kelly has a great wheel cover there uh, I'm sure he doesn't leave it parts up too near Old Trafford though with, uh, with that wheel cover but uh, again it's uh, I think I've seen one or two over there I've seen the uh, Phoenix one the old badge the one in the background there at the top but uh, I've not seen the new badge like that, but uh, that's pretty neat, that, isn't it? I don't know if you can buy them. I'm sure if you get in touch with uh, get me, I can get in touch with uh, Neil Ned Kelly and find out where you could buy them if you, if you want to buy one of them. Now, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, uh, please, anything you need uh, pushing charity-wise, your own business-wise, etc., etc. So give that blues in business a follow on Twitter and uh, keep keep uh, helping out the guys, city fans and city fan businesses, etc. And anything I can do, any any sort of messages I can get out, please please let me know. I do try and make a note, and then obviously when I do these vlogs every seven to ten days, these one city show vlogs. I try and remember everyone who's mentioned they want, you know, can you do this for me? Can you do that? <laughs> or I've said, oh, I, I promised myself, you know, if I see something good, I said, oh, I'll give you a shout out, you know. So, yeah, so uh, do that and I'll do that for you anyway. So please, and also just check out all my city stuff. Obviously, I'm doing a vlog a day at the moment, all mainly all history stuff, of course, apart from this. This is quite obviously up to date and history, but uh, yeah, check out all my uh, blogs on there and uh, that'd be fantastic. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are you going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we'll meet here again on the Citizen Channel. Or perhaps have a flit across. Have a look at my film and TV channel. Whatever it is, I only ask one thing of you. A very small thing. Please, stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.